Hi everyone, I'm Tashina from Logical Harmony. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about cruelty-free false lashes. Now I get so many questions about false lashes and what my favorites are, and I think it's important to talk about because there are a lot of brands that market their lashes as cruelty-free and they're not. Like mink lashes, those are not cruelty-free by any means, and it's really frustrating to see brands that are using mink market as cruelty free and it gets very confusing for people to know what lashes are actually cruelty free and what ones are good. There are so many out there. I've tried a lot. I am probably like a lot of you guys where it has been a huge struggle of mine to find ones that work for me. A lot of them just don't. Just don't for whatever reason. There are various reasons. I'm not going to get into that right this second, um, but I'm just sharing what I found that work for me. These are all cruelty free brands and these lashes are all vegan, which means they are not from animal hair. They're, so they're not from mink, they're not silk, and they're not human hair either. They're all synthetic. Let's get into it. So I'm kind of going to go through this in no particular order. These are just the lashes and the brands that I find myself reaching for the most. Now I've tried so many because I've wanted to make using a false lash something that I do in my makeup routine. And I've tried so many. And what I found is that a lot of them, I have a really hard time with the band. The band is stiff, the band's heavy. And I feel like it shouldn't be that difficult where you have to break in a band to make it work for you. That's just what I think. Um, there are still tons of cruelty-free lash brands that I haven't tried. I do have a full list on Logical Harmony. I'll link to that down below. Let's get into this. I picked like my absolute favorite brands, the ones that I tend to reach for over and over again. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen a lot of these on there. It was photos. If you follow me here, if you're subscribed, you've probably seen them in videos as well. The first ones are Tarte. I love Tarte lashes. These were actually like probably the first brand of false lashes that I was able to easily work with and easily apply. I love the band. The band is very thin. It's very light. It's very flexible and they have a lot of different styles. They have everything from like very natural everyday looks to very glamorous looks that are like full and fluffy. They have like spikier lashes. They have a ton of different options. Um, right now, these are the ones in Heartbreaker, which I love. There are a couple of styles from them that I really, really love. I can't remember the name of the other one, but the Tarte lashes are really, really nice and I highly, highly suggest them. They aren't terribly expensive either and they're easy to find. You can get them at Sephora. You can get them at Ulta. Obviously, Tarte has way more styles on their website and they also sell lash glue that is vegan that comes in a clear formula and a black formula as well. Now, if you're also just looking for Lash Glue House of Lashes. They make one in clear and black. Duo, they make vegan lash glue. I like the one that comes in the green packaging. I think those are the primary ones that I see most often. Um, a lot of the brands, like drugstore brands like Iallure, their lash glue is vegan as well. Um, Ardell's theirs is vegan. I just find that a lot of drugstore lashes don't work for me. I've tried them. I can't get them to work. So all these are going to be a little bit higher price points, like 10 to $20 a pair, but you can use them multiple times if you treat them right and really get your money's worth. I also wanted to talk about the lashes from MOD, MOTD Cosmetics. Now they did send these to me. They sent me the full range. I am in their affiliate program. So if you use code, I believe it's Logical Harmony. It might be Tashina. I'll make sure down below. You do get a discount on your order and I do get a small percentage of that sale. Just like with that or any of the affiliate links down below, it does help keep Logical Harmony running. So I really appreciate it when you use those links and thank you so much to those of you that do. The MOTD lashes, I really love because again, there's a good variety of styles. I do find the band is a little bit stiff and does need a little bit of flexing, but if you just kind of sit there and bend it just a couple times, like when it's fresh out of the box, it really, really changes the band and it becomes a lot easier to work with. My favorite style from them is this one, GNO. I find that the style is a really good just wearable lash. It's a mix between like an everyday lightweight lash and like a more glam lash. And that's what I really, really like about it. It's fluffy, it has length, it has volume, but it's not super thick, it's not super dense. It's just, it's really pretty. It's a really, really pretty style. Um, they don't yet sell lash glue, but I'm hoping they will in the future. They also have really great makeup brushes. All of their lashes are synthetic and vegan friendly. Same with Tarte. Actually, all the brands today that I'm talking about, all their lashes are synthetic and vegan friendly. So you could pick any style from any of these brands and you don't have to worry. Now, some brands like House of Lashes, for example, they have a lot of synthetic styles. They also have ones made from human hair, which just personally, I don't feel great about. I don't really know how it's sourced, so I avoid those ones. I know not everyone that's vegan does, but I personally do, and I don't want to recommend something made out of human hair because it just feels strange to me. I wanted to talk about Social Eyes. Now, 
Carissa Pukas, she's another content creator. She was originally part of the Social Eyes team, and that's what got me interested in them, is she always wore them and they looked gorgeous on her. Now they did send me a ton of styles. It's been a while ago. I really like them. Again, I feel like similar to the MOTD ones, the band is a little bit stiff at first, but it's very, very easy to break in. You don't have to really, really work with it. You just give it a couple little bends and it works. I also haven't had to trim these a ton. Now, I have like a short lid space and most false lashes I have to trim down. And I really liked that with these, I don't have to trim a lot, so I'm not losing like a lot of the dramaticness of the lash. I would say that's basically the same for most of the ones in here. Um, this style is my favorite, it's sexy AF. Again, I feel like kind of like with Giano, it's that good mix between a dramatic fluffy full lash and a more everyday lash. Like you can wear it in the daytime, whatever you're doing, and it's gonna look beautiful. You could wear it at night and it's gonna really glam things up. It's just a really nice style. It's a really nice style. I need some more coffee, clearly. I did also wanna talk about the lashes from Makeup Geek. With their rebrand, Makeup Geek came out with false lashes. I never used their original lashes. I'm gonna put that out there. I'd never tried them. They did send me all of them. They sent me all their vegan shadows as well. I have a few videos, I'll link to that down below. And I am in the Makeup Geek affiliate program. I believe my affiliate code for them is Logical Harmony as well. It gets you a discount. And then the money that I get from that helps to keep Logical Harmony running. I love the style graceful. These are one of my all time favorite false lashes. I mean, that's why they're in this video, but this style is so pretty. The Makeup Geek lashes, I would say these and the Tarte lashes are the easiest to apply of any false lash that I've used. Again, the band is so lightweight. It's very flexible. It's very easy to work with and it feels like nothing on your eyes. I really, really like the style graceful. It's so pretty. They do also make 3D faux mink lashes. So if you are someone that wants more of a dramatic look, if you've been using mink lashes, please consider switching to faux mink. Um, and these are a really, really good alternative because I feel like they have the same look and feel as foaming lashes do. I've only ever seen them in packaging. I've never worn a pair, um, but they have the same look and feel in the packaging as most mink lashes that I have seen. So I highly would encourage you to pick up a pair of these. Save an animal. Don't put them through that torture. Pick up some foaming lashes. The last pair that I wanted to talk about is Black Moon Cosmetics. Now, these are not for the faint of heart. All their lashes are very dramatic. I love them though. My favorite style is Pisces. Um, this one is Karina right here, but all their lashes, very, very dramatic, but so so beautiful. And honestly, for how dramatic they are, they're so easy to apply. I feel like they just kind of pop right on. Like the lash band is curved in a really great way that makes them so, so easy to apply. They aren't too heavy. I was expecting for dramatic lashes, them to feel very heavy and very like awkward on my eyes, but they're actually really comfortable to wear. I really, really like them. I love that their styles are so different from many of the brands out there. So if you want to have fun with lashes, if you're looking for for something that is more dramatic. If you want something that's just different than what you're gonna find with any of these other brands, Black Moon Cosmetics is definitely the way to go. I love their lashes, they're so much fun. They did send me a ton of styles and I'm really thankful that they did because they have really, like Black Moon Cosmetics as a brand has really pushed my comfort zone with makeup, which I love and appreciate them for. And they've definitely done it with false lashes too. And I feel like their styles are beautiful and they're so, so much fun. Make sure you comment and share your favorite cruelty-free and vegan false lashes down below. If you have any questions about the false lashes, like what makes them cruelty free? What makes them vegan? What styles from different brands do I like? Things like that. Comment down below as well. And don't be afraid to suggest other styles to each other. Like if you see a question from someone else and you can answer it, please jump in. I think it's so cool to see that conversation and community happening there. And I love that it's happening so much lately. I'll see you next time. I'm just hanging out with Juniper. If you guys want to see more of us, make sure you watch another video here. You can check out the vlog channel here and make sure you subscribe and make Juniper's day right here.